friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 12th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to another video here. We are looking at the Volcano Activity Report, and as well, the planetary positionings for Week 10, 2023, as we have Mercury on the opposite side of the sun right now, creeping in behind the sun, visible over the last couple days through Lasco imagery, having a look at all of the planets in our solar system right now, still in one corner of the pie. Let's put this into motion towards the end of the month as we have Mars circling around for a close approach. And as well, Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn, very bright in the skies right now. Let's put this into motion from March 12th to March 31st. Mercury will be transitioning behind the sun. Both Venus and Mars getting ready for close approaches come after springtime. And as I said, all of the planets, one corner of the pie in our solar system truly hasn't been, hasn't happened over the past 200 years. Let's have a look at all of the active and erupting volcanoes as we have 47 erupting volcanoes across the world. We're going to start out here in Central America where Popa Paketatol has been huffing and a puffing all week, creating a lots of SO2 and volcanic ash. Santiaguito, Fuego, San Miguel, Recon de la Veja, and as well, Messiah Volcano. Messiah just awakened a week ago. To South America, Colombia, where we have the active and erupting Reventador, Nevadas de Ruiz, Cotopaxi, and as well Sangue. All of the yellow icons are showing signs of unrest. Got Sabincay in Peru, got Lascar in Chile, Villa Rica in Chile. Head across over into Africa, where in Rwanda we have near Miragira and as well near Gongo Volcano. East of there we have Old Doinya. And then over to the northeast region where we have the Urt to Ale. And then south of Italy with Etna and as well Stromboli. They've been huffing and a puffing all week as well. Lots of SO2 in the northern hemisphere right now. Overlooking Indonesia as we just had a pretty large eruption at Merapi. We've got also Sinimbung. It's showing unrest. Merapi with a large eruption yesterday. Krakatoa. Merapi, Simaru, and also Luatolo, eastern parts of the Sunda Islands, northern Indonesia, Ibu, and Dekono, Karangatang Volcano, east of the Celebes Sea, as well we have the Tal Volcano in the Philippines, Erupting Swiss and Ajima, Sekirajima, southern Japan, and as well a high volcano erupting through the Mariana Islands. Then we get up into eastern Russia with Kamchatka, with Chikarachki, Ebiko Volcano, Bezimiani, and Shivlish. And then overlooking the Aleutian Islands. Look at this. We have three active volcanoes through the region. Takawanga. Sorry, four. Great Sitkin, Takawanga, Tanaga, 
and Cessna Pochinoy. Now, Tanaga Volcano, we've seen about 5,000 earthquakes over the past three or four days since it started showing signs of activity. And then over to Hawaii, of course, where we have Kilauea. And its summit crater has shrunken over the last little while. Not very active right now. Papua New Guinea with Kadavor and Manam. And as well, Bagana. Down into the Solomon Islands, Vanuatu region with Aoba, Epi. And as well, yes, sir. And then here we have two active, or sorry, two volcanoes showing signs of unrest, New Zealand, and the active and erupting Erubus, which is in the Antarctica. So all around the world, we have 47 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet, and about 100 to 110, including showing signs of unrest. Also notable here, some earthquakes right out front of the Michael Volcano, who's been showing signs of unrest for quite some time, the only one through that subduction zone. Let's have a look at SO2 forecast brought to you by windy.com. As I said, some intense SO2 coming out of Mexico and Ecuador, as well as Kamchatka, and now through the Aleutian Islands, where we have four active and erupting volcanoes along the Aleutian Island chain and even more activity building through parts of Anchorage and eastern Alaska. Quick look around here, the rest of the world for SO2 forecast. Always lots of SO2 coming out of southeastern China and India and as well those two dark spots in throughout Africa. Notable all the SO2 coming out of Etna this week as well. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by the Merapi volcano eruption yesterday. Lots of videos going out. Large pyroclastic cloud. So here are the current conditions. We have 47 volcanoes that are in continuing eruption status. And that was as of February 23rd, so probably 48 now, but here is a quick list at all of the active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Expecting things to pick up here over the next little bit going into spring. Much love, everybody, and thank you so much for following along. Daily events worldwide, a lot of new followers, and thank you so much for joining the family. I hope you enjoy the content and information shared. Stay tuned for the next video. Daily Do will be coming tomorrow night. Give you a full update on our world, space weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your Daily Do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.